What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Today I'm doing a remake on my belt squat video. It is an incredibly popular video. That's why I haven't really... If it didn't do as well, I would have just taken it down and made a new one. But I'm not replacing that video. Tons of comments, tons of likes, tons of views. It's basically my most watched video every day. I get a couple of comments every day talking about how great it is. The only thing I wanted to remake in that is I've added something. And my lighting is much better than it used to be. I used to have one light bulb that lit up my entire basement. So the lighting is going to be better in this video, I promise. What it involves a belt squat. It is about doing squats without having a barbell on your back. So it's less spinal compression. You don't need to worry about technique as much with your upper body. You can solely focus on the muscles in your hips down. There is no upper body or torso involvement in a belt squat, which makes it much easier to train more often with less overall systemic stress. If you wanna know why my method is better, I feel, than some other methods people use, where it's dangling plates, standing on boxes, the landmine, all these other ways, I'll put the link to the video in the description of my other video. That part has great lighting. But just in general, my method is the only way that allows you to start from the top of the movement. Normally, you have to deadlift the weight off the floor or step up onto boxes, which can be incredibly, incredibly awkward. So with my method, all you need is a squat rack or a power rack, such as the one I have behind me. You need spotter arms. You need a barbell and plates. Very simple. So what you need. On one side, you're going to need one spotter arm set at a certain height. And you're going to need to experiment with this. If you put it too high, the other side might hit the floor. If you put it too low, it might still hit the floor. If you put it at the optimal length, now we're in business. Then you need a dip belt. And on the opposite side is where you're going to load the weights. You will then get a chain and hook it underneath the one end of the barbell. You're going to need a secondary collar to place on the barbell. Why do you need this? That will prevent the chain from sliding right off as you go down in the range of motion. As I was experimenting with this, I figured, hey, I don't need another collar at the end, and then it slipped right off. So it is necessary. Now, the addition that I have made over the past year and a bit is to put another spotter arm at the top, and you can rest your hands on this. So this will allow you to put more Focus on your lower body. If you want the exercise to benefit you more for stabilization and some core work, then I suggest not holding onto the spotter arm. The reason for this is if you wanted to mimic an actual squat and not just so much focus on leg development, I definitely would not hold onto the spotter arm. But basically, you're not supposed to be pressing yourself up onto the spotter arm. It's just there if you fail to pull yourself back up. That's just the way I look at it. You do whatever you want. If you want the spotter arm for safety, go ahead. If you don't, it does not make or break the exercise. The spotter arm also allows you to sit back a bit more while counterbalancing yourself. So that is also another additional plus. So I hope you like this video. I'm not expecting this video to blow up anywhere as near as my other one. It's literally the video I feel is responsible for getting me back into making these videos because I was kind of, you know, losing the passion for making these videos. So for then all of you that want me to keep making videos, you can go thank that video right there. So if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share the videos with your friends if you think they'll like them as well. If you have a question for me, drop them in the comments. And as always, class is dismissed.